You're listening to Puma Podcast. Hi, I'm Bella Perez Rubio, Puma Podcast, and you're listening to Teka Teka News. In this episode, we're seeing maybe 30 days or 60 days into registration, we will start deactivating some services on the SIM card. You will lose your access to your Facebook accounts or to your TikTok accounts, but you still can use your phone. You can still call, you can still text, and then after a certain period, you will lose your outgoing calls. So that way, ramdam nyo kung anong effect na hindi kayo nagpaparehistro. May 90 days ka pa to register your SIM. But until you do, the government might start limiting your access to other things. The president has approved our recommendation to extend the SIM card registration by 90 days. We believe that uh, that will already give a lot of time to the public in order to fulfill the requirements of the law on the SIM card registration. That's Information and Communications Technology Secretary Ivan Oy. He made that announcement one day bago ang deadline ng SIM registration. Nothing's been decided yet, but the government is considering limiting services for unregistered SIM before the 90-day extension lapses. Pero teka lang, can they do that? Digital Pinoy's, a network of digital advocates, said walang nakasulat sa SIM Registration Act about deactivating services at this stage. Under the law, gagawin lang yan pagkatapos ng registration and extension period. Pero pagdating sa limiting access sa iyong Facebook at TikTok, DICT said that it can restrict access to these social media sites without consulting these platforms. We don't need to talk to them because um, that's purely within the jurisdiction of the Philippines. We're not shutting down Facebook or shutting down TikTok. We're just um, limiting the access to those value-added services. But if that doesn't work, may isa pang option. They still have access to that, but they cannot for instance, uh, do outgoing calls anymore. It's up to the telcos. So we'll be meeting with the telcos to find out which uh, particular option would be the most feasible to do gradually over, over the time frame. So far, around 82 million SIMs have already been registered. That's about half of the 168 million active SIMs in the Philippines. 15 to 20 million more are expected to register in the next three months. And the remaining 50 million are the ones that are disposable, so to speak. The ones that are being used uh, only once and um, for different purposes, either for telemarketing purposes or for scamming purposes. The DICT warns, though, of a spike in scam attempts throughout the extension period. Unfortunately, with this announcement of a 90-day extension, we expect that tax scams will going to increase again because we've now given them a 90-day window to continue their nefarious activities. So it was a pro and con thing and it was difficult for us to make this decision. Ano ba yung mga tax scam na related sa SIM registration? Um, there's tax scams by posing as uh, your bank and you know telling them they're so and so bank and that you need because of the sim card registration you need to update your sim numbers and that you need to register with them again and provide them with all those details those did not come from your banks we'll pause here the DICT answers some important questions when we return How are you going to address the problem na marami po ang gusto magparehistro pero down ang system? I think hindi naman down yung past six months, no? There, um, there may be down maybe a, a day or two, but it's not consistently down. So kung nag-down nung time na yon, then try again. Sir, isa rin yung problema yung more than half daw po ng 
mga SIM card holders ay walang government-issued ID? Uh, will the government now honor the other IDs? Actually, our system is allowing even uh, barangay-issued IDs. So, barangay is already the the lowest uh, government agency no, or government entity. And it's they're fully accessible by all the residents within that barangay. Sir, you mentioned earlier that it was not the law turnout that prompted the president to um, allow the extensions. Were there other compelling considerations that uh, allowed the president to, to allow these extensions, sir? For one is that uh, when we're looking at the low turnout, we discovered that some of the low turnouts were in the island provinces like uh, Dinagat, Sikihor, Kamigin Islands, Tawi-Tawi, Abasilan. When it was presented, um, the president noticed that uh, we need to put in more effort to deploy teams to those island provinces in order to address the, the low turnout. Those aren't the only concerns over SIM registration, though. In a petition before the Supreme Court, the National Union of Journalists of the Philippines argues that the law violates the public's rights to free speech, privacy, and due process. Together with other groups, NUJP asked government agencies to stop, quote, using, storing, transferring, and processing all information gathered into the SIM register and to destroy data already gathered, unquote. But the Supreme Court decided against stopping the law's implementation. Instead, the SC has ordered the DICT, along with other agencies and telcos, to comment on the petition, questioning the constitutionality of the law. Another concern is hacking. In Indonesia, where phone numbers are also registered, a manhunt is ongoing for the hacker behind a massive data leak. The leak involves 1.3 billion mobile phone users, 105 million voters, and even a log of the president's correspondence, to name a few. But, kung ang goal naman ay mabawasan ng text-related scams, the National Telecommunications Commission said it's working. Here's Information and Communications Technology Secretary Ivan Uy again. This is the last chance. The, the law actually has our hands tied. Uh, we're only allowed to do this uh, extension once and um, up to a certain period of time. Thereafter, um, it will be a hard deadline. Those who do not register will lose all services. Uh, they will lose the number. They will lose access to their uh, SIM card, which means they cannot call out, they cannot receive calls, they cannot text, and they will lose access also to their e-wallets and whatever financial services that are, that are linked to their SIM cards. And that was today's episode of Teca Teca News. Again, I'm Bella Perez Rubio. This episode was edited by Pedoy Blanco. Follow Teka Teka News on your favorite podcast app or listen to us for free on YouTube. Maraming salamat po.